Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at Sunshine of Your Love by taking a look at Eric Clapton's uh, guitar solo. So this is a pretty legendary uh, guitar solo here. So we're going to take it phrase by phrase. A lot of crazy bending going on in this. Some of the bends don't make it all the way there too. So it's probably just something he, he likes doing it for the sound of it because obviously Eric Clapton, if he wants to put a bend in tune, he's going to put it in tune. But for effect, sometimes it'll just kind of get it like a, a quarter step flat. Um, it kind of gives it that kind of a bluesy vibe to it. Um, so anyway, there's going to be a lot of that. So it's really hard to emulate exactly uh, where it's at. But we're going to kind of do a nice um, kind of easy to understand way of doing it. So when you listen to recording, you'll be able to kind of match it pretty well. All right, so let's start here. Uh, we're going to start with some of these bins. Um, on the neck pickup here, and we're going to have this. All right, so of course a lot of these bends, when he's doing them, he has vibrato at the top of the bend, which is probably one of the reasons why it doesn't make it all the way to the bend because he's adding a lot of vibrato to it, so he's intentionally kind of dropping the pitch a little bit. But we're going to start with two bends at the 12th fret on the G string. And put some vibrato there at the top of the bend, so it's kind of difficult to do. All right, and then we're going to do this. Pick the 12 normal. Do the bend again, grab the 12th fret on the B string, so we have to, and then do the bend again of the 12th fret, and then pick it as it's bent, and then back down normal, and back up bent. So really you gotta hear that melody. It's really kind of all based around this one note. So we have to, See that last bend, I was already bent before I picked it. All right, then we have this phrase. A lot of vibrato there. So a little half step bend of the ninth fret. Release, pull off to seven. And then play nine, seven. And then you're gonna grab nine on the G and the B together and bend them both up together. Just kind of slightly bend them up and then grab the seventh fret on the G. So we have this. All right, now we're gonna do those double stops again in this next phrase, which sounds like this. All right, so you're gonna hammer on seven to nine on the D, and then again on the G. And then you're gonna grab those two nines on the B and the G together again. Do the bend, release, Bend them again, and then pick it again to do the next, the third bend. So we have this. We're gonna end it with a hammer on seven to nine on the G. Back to seven. And you just kinda of do them all legato. All right, now we have uh, the 10th fret. We're gonna be doing a series of bends here, and he kinda of bends higher and higher as he goes and he comes back down. So it goes like this. All right, so a lot of crazy bending. So that's the 10th fret. You're gonna do a whole step bend, then bend it up kind of a step and a half, and then pick it again, kind of a full two steps. So two whole steps. And then back to a step and a half bend, then 10, and then just bend it a whole step again. So once again, it's all based on that one note, so it's more about just knowing the melody itself. From there, we do this. That's 7, 10, 7 on the G. Whole step bend of the ninth fret, nine on the G D string, and back to seven on the G. And then another whole step bend on the ninth fret on the G to end it. So, all right, next phrase. All right.
right, so this is another one. Uh, we're getting out of these uh, the crazy bin stuff uh, after this one. So we're just gonna um, hammer seven and nine on the D and the G again. And then you're gonna play this. Seven and then kind of one of those bends that don't make it quite there, the whole step bend at uh, the ninth fret on the G. So we have the, and you see that was pre-bent. I didn't go, so we have this. Then nine on the D. Then hammer seven and nine, whole step bend, and then bend a step and a half, then a whole step bend, and then seven, nine, and then hammer seven to nine, and it was seven. So let me just play that slowly for you. Next phrase. All right, so it's kind of going into the next phrase there. So we're gonna start here. Sliding 14 on the G and 13 on the B together. And then hammer, a quick hammer. Um, 11 to 12 on the G. Then 10, 11 on the G. And then back to 10, pull off 12 to 10 on the D string, then play 12 and hold that on the D string, and then you're going to hammer 10 to 11 and hold that 11 on the G. So all together. All right, next part. So this is a kind of a staccato here, 10th fret on the high E string. Just immediately release the pressure. Then a kind of a slight downward bend of the 10th fret on the G, over to 12 on the D, and back to the 10 on G. And did the whole step, the 12th fret on the G string. That kind of start, that, that bend right there starts the next phrase. So let me just play the previous phrase real quick. All right, now starting from that bend, we have our next phrase. All right, I'm gonna kind of stop there because we have this kind of a crazy section at the end, which comes right after that. So we're just gonna start it. 10th fret, a 12th fret bend there on the G, then 13 on the B, then I'll Pulse that bend on the 12 on the G, then pick 12 normal, back to 10 on the G. Then 12 on the G again. Then slide it to 14, over to 13 on the uh, B string, and then play 12, 10 on the G again. So from there. From there we have a bend. So that's a, that bend at the 12th fret on the uh, G string. And then you're gonna have a, a bar here at the 10th fret on the B and the high E. Pick them, 10 on the B, 10 on the high E. Let them ring together. Pre-bend here, the 12th fret on the G. Pull off the 10, the 12 on the D. Then, another bend there, the 10th fret on the G, 12 on the D, 12 on the A. So all together. All right, from here we have this. All right, so we have, those are the 10th fret on the A and the D string played together. And you hammer on quickly the 12th fret on the A string. So you still keep that 12, 10 on the D ringing when you do that. So that's just those two strings. So this 10th fret on the A is really like a, a, a grace note. 
And then do the same thing on the next two strings down. So that across the 10 on the G and the D together, hammering the 12th fret on the D. And then when we get to the B and the G strings, just play B and G, the 10th fret together, and then 12th fret on those same two strings. So we have this. All right, and then the ending uh, of the solo sounds like this. All right, so what he's doing here is he's basically mix, just messing around with the D minor pentatonic. All right, but um, he starts it really by sliding from 12 to 14 on the G string. He usually, when he slides into that 14, he does it a few times here, kind of lets it um, hold it for a, a beat or a half a beat. So we have this. And then we have 13 on the B, 14 on the G, back to four, 13 on the B a couple times, hammer on 15. So we get to straight 16th notes when we get to this. Then back to 13 on the B, then slide down to 12 on the G. So we have this. Then a slight bend there. Of the 10th fret on the G string and pull off 12 to 10. So all together for that measure. One more time. Then you start, basically start back over the next measure, sliding up to the, the 14 again, holding it for the rest, kind of a beat, and then And now we just have eighth notes here. 13 on the B, 14 on the G, 15th fret on the B, whole step bent, then 13, 15. So, so from the previous measure, uh, let me do it again. All right, and then we have kind of a half step rest and we have this All right, so it's kind of what it's doing. It's just, he likes going between those two forms of the minor pentatonic, consistently doing that kind of thing too. So we have the fifth, 13 on the high E string and the B string together. Pull off 15 to 13 on the B, slide down 14 to 12. That bend at the 10th fret again on the G string. 12th fret on the D string twice, and then 10, uh, tw uh, 12, 10 on the G. Yeah, that's it. So we have this. Then that slide into the 14 again to start the next measure. But do it this time with the third finger. So you can grab the 13 on the B with it. Hit those a few times. Slide back down to 12 that 10th fret bend again, and we're gonna end the solo, pulling off t 10 to 12 to 10 on the D, over to 12 on the A, and then the hammer on 10 to 12 on the D, and then the 10th fret there on the low E. Now, that last section is really kind of a thing that you can do your own thing with it. If you You know, it's because that's really all he's doing. He probably he would never play that the same way twice. That's just this style of a playing is just not something that is kind of like you have a melodic sequence that you're doing. It's just kind of off the cuff stuff. So uh, the other parts of the solo were very had melodies to follow. Here we went through it note for note, but keep in mind if that's a little bit too busy, it's too much brain work to do. Just D minor pentaton. will do just fine. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.